All right. So the previous video, we look at the uh, dipole moment or polarity of a bond. Now, in this video, we're going to look at the polarity of a molecules. OK, so the ultimate question is start right here. Is carbon dioxide polar or nonpolar molecules? Hmm. How do we determine it, though? Well, we have to look at its bond uh, individually. OK, All right, let's start with this bond right here. So we know that carbon and oxygen bond is, uh, is a polar bond point toward oxygen. That's a dipole moment. Right. And but on the right side, same thing, carbon and oxygen bond, also a polar bond and point toward oxygen. Now, is carbon dioxide polar or nonpolar? Well, it's a nonpolar compound. OK, because the dipole moment have the same strain, but opposite direction. They, they, they cancel each other out. All right. So when is molecule nonpolar? One, for the uh, most of the time, not always, but most of the time, when a molecule has no polar bond, for example, oxygen gas, carbon-carbon uh, bond, or whatever, okay, they have <clears throat> no uh, polar bond. Or when a molecule has polar bonds, but the dipole moments offset, all the dipole moments cancel each other out, like in, case, in the case of carbon dioxide right here, okay? All right, let's try uh, with water. Uh, I'm sure you know that water is a more uh, it's a polar molecule, but how do we determine it? Okay, look at one bond at a time. So oxygen and hydrogen point toward oxygen there. That's dipole moment. Okay, on the right side also point toward oxygen. Do this that these two dipole moment cancel each other? Actually, no. All right, uh, I'm gonna, we're going to talk about physics. Just a little bit of physics in here. Okay. Uh, any vectors, if you still remember, uh, any vex, uh, diagonal vectors can be separated into x and y axis vector. Okay, so this one right here, uh, the x axis, of course, they cancel each other out, but the y axis, they add up right there, which means that the dipole moment, the net dipole moment of water pointing up. Look at that. Okay, so uh, water is a polar molecule, okay, polar compound. All right, now, aluminum, uh, aluminum chloride, polar or nonpolar? Mm, let's look at the one bond at a time. So chlor aluminum chlorine bond, so point toward chlorine, all right, the dipole moment. Aluminum chlorine bond, point toward uh, chlorine to the top. Uh, aluminum chlorine bond right here, point to the right, kind of diagonally, okay? So they, this is a trigonal planar. They cancel each other out in the middle, nonpolar, all right? Now, let's try ammonia. Ammonia is... Right here, ammonia is not trigonal planar. It's the, the trigonal by uh, trigonal pyramidal. Okay, so it's not trigonal planar. So watch out here. Uh, nitrogen, hydrogen bond. So point toward nitrogen. All of them look like that. Um, the the x axis. If you separate the vector, the x axis is gonna cancel each other out, but the um, the y axis is gonna point up. So they uh, they add up to the top. Okay. Lastly, we have CF two H two. Okay. Let's see what we got. So CF bond, of course, point toward uh, fluorine, and carbon hydrogen bond is nonpolar. Okay, so the net dipole moment point to that direction. That's it. That's super simple. There, there's a polar compound. Okay. Uh, oh, <clears throat> one more, one more right here. So we have CF four. Okay, this one is tetrahedral. So the dipole moment of each bond point toward fluorine. They cancel each other out in the middle. Okay, this is nonpolar non-polar compound, right? Uh, most, most of the time, hydrocarbon are non-polar, right? First of all, CH bond is non-polar, right? CH bond is non-polar bond, you know that. And if there's a little bit hetero atoms there, um, I mean, it's just so small that compared to the whole structure, it depends on how big the structure is too. But most of the time, uh, hydrocarbon is non-polar, okay? All right, we got class activity two. You know the drill. This are uh, these are question. We have question one, two, and three. I give you a little hint, little hint there. Okay, and come down here too. Uh, complete it and upload it on Blackboard. All right.